it's about... so funny because we've had so many women and I've been saying how great it is to have so many women and then... And I can tell you, this man cried the entire way through this movie. I'm so happy! You just got... Oh, God. I'm I almost so was welling up on the train earlier and I was talking about it as well. Wow. I'm so... It makes me so happy because I think also... I mean, obviously I'm happy when women cry, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's something about making yeah, a man cry that really, <laughs> really pleases me because I don't think men get the opportunity to cry that often. And the, the, the re I think the reason for that is because the story is told from Peter's point of view. So you identify yeah. with him and what he's going through. It's just... It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Well, it sort of leads into my first question, really, which, Peter, I mean, it must be such a, I mean, very, I imagine very surreal seeing this story depicted on, on the big screen, but a very emotional one as well, I'm assuming, for you. It is. It's a whole kind of mixture of emotions. It is surreal, um, uh, but it, it, it's joyous as well. It's still, I'm still learning from it. And, you know, the, the film and looking at the film and the performances, I'm still kind of finding out about the relationship. And it, that might sound strange, but, you know, I'm kind of like revisiting and, uh, and sort of thinking and processing and kind of working things out and understanding. And the performances are just so incredible and, and perceptive and true and real that they're giving me, it's a wonderful gift, they're giving me an awful lot. And yeah, you know, and I'm very grateful and very thankful about that. Yeah, I mean, what you get, I mean, what Jamie managed to do so well, you see the love in his eyes is the most, it's yeah. just remarkable. Because I mean, I don't know how you can teach that, you know. No, you can't teach uh, 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 you know, acting like that. I mean, uh, nor with Annette, it's just, I mean, they're incredible artists, creative kind of people and, you know, I mean, I just have to think of you know, of the performances and kind of scenes, and, and I start to cry. Uh, you know, it, I, I mean, I just I'm a bit of a cry, but I just get so moved by it, and um, you know, and even kind of like you know, watching. I've seen the film how many times now? I don't know, but and, uh, uh, watching it again last night, I mean, I was in tears again. I was in tears every day on the set when she they was. were shooting. Yeah. And Paul, the director, kept saying, are you all right? I said, I'm just so moved by this. But I think the key to, to those relationships, and, mm -hmm. and as you say, the love, mm -hmm. the love that Jamie has in the eyes, I think is because Jamie and Annette both spent a lot of time with Peter. And, and I think that's the thing that really struck them, mm -hmm. is, is the continuing love that Peter has for Gloria and her memory. And, and I think that inspired their performances, and that's why their, their mm -hmm. performances are so truthful. And I, mean, I think because we spoke very briefly on the on the the premiere in Toronto, and you said that this was something that a film that you were trying to make maybe twenty years ago with Annette, mm. but obviously it wouldn't have worked twenty years ago. So was this almost because she's so perfect for this part? Was it was the partly the reason behind this wait to wait for her to get to the the right age to portray the role? Well, she uh, when she was making um, the Grifters with Stephen Frears, he he told her to look at Gloria Graham movies, um, and that you know. That was when she began her love affair with Gloria Graham. And she was way too young uh, 20 years ago. But uh, about seven years ago, she, I mean, we, we've been friends for a while, but about seven years ago, she, we bumped into each other at the BAFTAs. And she said, I said, time. And I said, yeah, let's, let's start working on it. It's time. And, um, and it was worth waiting uh, for her and also for, for Jamie Bell, who yeah. would have been way too young mm -hmm. seven years ago. I mean, it, it's, it's as if everything kind of just, all the, all the stars lined up and the planets. Yeah, and it feels like we, this film has come out at the perfect time. You need a story like this right we now We do. Well. A real story about mm. real people and real emotion and love. And I mean, because I think that it's, it's brilliantly directed as well. I, I just, I mean, it's... It's sort of, the film's almost quite gloriously and almost unashamedly cinematic. And I, do you think he, uh, that the whole film was given the license to be like that because it was depicting a, a sort of a real classic Hollywood actress? Do you think it gave the, the, the filmmakers this kind of license, I guess, in some ways to, to thrive in that quite overt kind of Well, cinematic? absolutely. That was very much Paul's vision from when he first read the mm. script and the, and the book was that he wanted to make you feel as if you were in one of Gloria's movies. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, the memories... Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's in many ways you know it's a memory play, and the beautiful transitions that he created, you know, going from the present to the past, um, was you know was yes the whole 
kind of cinematic language of this film mm-hmm. is down to Paul. I love the fact that he kept, kept real pictures and footage of Gloria. He didn't try and sort of juxtapose, juxtapose um, sorry, uh, Annette's face onto kind of old no, movies right. or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure, so I've just got to, I mean, Barbara, obviously, I'm sure I'll be the first person who's walked in today and asked you a question about James Bond. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, obviously, you must be thrilled. And were you ever surprised that, that Daniel came back onto this? But, I mean, it must be incredible news when you, when you did find out he was up for, for number 25. Well, just like I was determined to make film stars don't die in Liverpool, I was determined to get Daniel back. <laughs> and I'm very happy he's um, back. And I mean, there's no title or director yet, but if you tell me now, I promise you, I won't tell oh, anyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. No, then I'd we'll have to kill seen. you, and yeah. that would be a tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!